Welcome to the Third Wind channel. Today we're going to be doing the Group A predictions for the Euro 2021 tournament. And we're going to be doing one of these for each group. And we're going to be doing some other Euro content. So uh, subscribe if you like that. But without further ado, let's get into the video. So today we're doing Group A. So let's zoom into Group A. This is every single game. The way we're going to do this is we're going to predict the score for every single game and that way we also know how many points each team gets and it gets becomes very clear uh, who goes through. I like doing it this way. But before we get into the results for every game, uh, my own predictions, uh, let's get into some team profiles. So this is what Turkey's last uh, most recent match looked like. We have uh, some star players are Suyuncu, Ilmaz, for example, um, we have the reserves on the right sides. We have the FIFA ranking number 29 in the world. Manager, don't know how to pronounce it, but Sanol Gunas. And uh, we see recent results here on the, right, on the left side. And this is what I want to focus uh, on the most. So we see Turkey managed to beat Russia. They lost to Hungary. They won against the Netherlands. They won against Norway 3-0. 3-3 against Latvia. 2-1 against Azerbaijan. 0-0 against Guinea. And 2-0 against Moldova. To me, these seem like really inconsistent results. Like they're beating good teams, they're losing against not so good teams, and it's just it's a it's very hit or miss. And there seems to be a lot of goals coming both in and out of their goal, uh, or in the opponent's goal and in their own goal. So what this tells me is Turkey's got a bit of a shaky defense, but they also have some very creative attacking skill, and they're a force to be reckoned with. I think. If I'm not mistaken, they're also the lowest uh, FIFA ranking in this group, but do not underestimate them. Uh, our next uh, gr uh, team profile is Italy, which is number seven in the world, managed by Roberto Mancini. Uh, this is their most recent match squad, if you're interested. They have a star squad, and I'm sure they do all right with their reserves as well. But, uh, I mean, Immobile, Chiellini, Insig just I don't need to say it, but... Great squad. Uh, I think that this is the best the Italy squad's looked in a while. Uh, recent results, we have Poland 0-0, Netherlands 1-1, Poland again 2-0, beating Bosnia, beating Northern Ireland, beating Bulgaria, beating Lithuania, beating San Marino, beating Czech Republic. This is looking really, really solid. Just um, keeping the net fairly clean. And, for example, Czech Republic is in the Euros, and beating them 4-0 is quite a statement before the Euros. So, I'm really liking this Italy squad. I think they have a lot of attacking power, meanwhile having a very experienced defense, which I always like. That combination, I feel like, is always super solid. And they have a really solid manager behind them. So, this is a very good-looking squad. Moving on, our next team profile is Wales. Wales, um... I know there's a lot of people who are optimists, but I am more of a pessimist. Yes, they have their star player, Gareth Bale, uh, amongst others, you know, Ramsey. They have a solid, okay manager in Ryan Giggs. Um, but moving on, what are their most recent results? We're, they beat Finland. They beat Bulgaria. They tied against Ireland. Bulgaria win. Won against Ireland. Won against Finland. Lost to Belgium, no surprise there. Beat Mexico, that's very good. They beat the Czech Republic, and they're going to play against... Well, no, sorry. I, I don't have the result on the France game. Um, But what we can see here from this table is they've scored very little, even against the teams which could be considered easier. They're not really a big scoring team. So in order to win, they're going to have to keep their net clean. And I don't see that happening in a group with Turkey, Switzerland, and Italy. So they're ranked number 17th, but I, I, I'm I not seeing this team working out. I think they have quite an aged team as well. They don't have that kind of youth, uh, quick mobility striking force. So yeah, next one, we got Switzerland. So Switzerland uh, have just been getting better and better as the years go on. And now they're they're fighting neck and neck with these big teams such as Spain. As you see on the left side, we have uh, Spain 1-1, Ukraine 3-0. Ukraine's a good squad. A 3-1 against Bulgaria, 1-0 Lithuania, 3-2 Finland, Switzerland beating USA 2-1, 7-0, uh, and so on and so forth. Uh, 
they're solid. They score a lot of goals. They keep their net relatively clean, especially in the latest games. They're ranked number 13 on the FIFA World Ranking. And I, I've seen some games where they play neck and neck with teams like Portugal, which are the defending champions. So I, I really like Switzerland here. What 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 could I could tr critique them in? I don't know about their midfield, but that's that's the only kind of critique I have. I think they have a solid squad. But let's move on. Now we are going to say what are the scores going to be? So for our first game, we got Turkey, Italy, the opener. Uh, I think that this could go either way, to be honest. Like, Turkey could pull off a big shocker, but I think that Italy will secure a 1-2 victory. It'll be a, a really exciting game, though, I think. It could be, like, a 2-3 as well, but importantly, I think Italy will win. Slightly just more mature squad, and I think that they'll pull this off. They got experience on their side. Moving on, we got Wales. I think they're going to lose 0-2 to Switzerland. Uh, like... They're not going to be scoring too many goals. And I think this is going to be a bit of a trend. They're going to get one or zero goals, just like they did in their previous games. And I think Switzerland's just got the edge. They've got a solid defense. No way. Switzerland's winning this game. Then Turkey-Wales. Yeah, Wales will get their one goal. And Turkey... Uh, sorry. Wales will get their one goal. And Turkey will smash them three. Three in uh, the Wales side. And moving on, we have a tie between Italy and Switzerland. I don't, I don't really know how the, this matchup will go. I don't think I've seen this game uh, and in recent times, but 1-1 one, one sounds about right to me. Uh, if if there is going to be a winner here, I think it'll be Italy, just with that slightly more dangerous attack force. Uh, moving on, we got 2-1 uh, Switzerland-Turkey. Again, I think there's just a slightly more experienced kind of core of players in Switzerland can be Turkey. But again, this could be like a 3-3 as well. With Turkey, it's really hard for me to guess because they are quite inconsistent. But I do think that this is, you know, this is probably the most important game of the group for deciding who will get second place. And I think Switzerland edges them out, but I wouldn't be surprised if this goes completely differently. And lastly, Wales not scoring and Italy scoring two. Kind of like a, just a regular game for them. Uh, but yeah, that's, that's that. And uh, if uh, you were keeping track or not... Uh, here are the final resor results in the form of a table. So first we got Wales finishing with zero points, minus six goal difference, uh, scoring only one goal throughout their run. I think something like that will happen. Then we got Turkey uh, who lose to Switzerland, which is why they don't get the second place. And they get three points though, beating Wales. Uh, decent. I think that they could qualify through the third position as four teams qualify. If uh, four third place teams qualify, the four, the four best ones. Uh, joining the 12 teams that qualify directly through the top two spots. But that means, yes, that Switzerland qualifies, Italy qualifies, and um, who comes on, out on top? I think Italy, uh, but through goal difference here, even it's the same. But um, who knows? I think that these two teams, though, will qualify directly. And uh, as you can see, Italy number one, Switzerland number two, and a potential third-place qualification for Turkey. But if they do get three points... It, it They could be out. They could really... I mean, you never know, right? Uh, three points could be enough or not. So that's my prediction for Group A. Uh, I hope everyone enjoyed the video. And if you did, subscribe because tomorrow we have Group B. And we'll be covering Euros. Um, but thanks for watching. This has been the Third Wind Channel. And we'll see you guys soon.